January favorites because it is now February 1st so I have not done a favorites in a long time I don't usually do them much because I don't know they just don't get the views but I felt like filming one so I'm gonna film a favorites and yeah so if you want to see what my favorites were for the month of January just keep watching I'm gonna make this quick guys because I really don't have a lot I was sick for Two weeks of January so I really didn't wear a lot of makeup I just kind of wore the same stuff over and over again but first off we're going to start with moisturizer I love this it cosmetics confidence in a cream I use this like every night I use it every morning <coughs> I got very lucky and they actually sent me another one when I was right down to the end of mine and son of a gun if my daughter didn't take it so I really just I like the way it makes my face feels just really smooth and um, it just makes my makeup go on top of it really well and I'm also loving the confidence in an eye cream I mean this stuff is really good I think it cosmetics has amazing makeup amazing skincare I just really um, I just really enjoy using their products so I've been using that every day every evening since getting it and I'm really enjoying it <coughs> another thing product that I'm really liking and this is for the hair this is the Hask Manoi coconut dry shampoo I love dry shampoos. I use them four or five days a week because I don't wash my hair very often. And my Walmart, I don't know what's going on with my Walmart because like I told you before, I live in this little small college town. There's not a lot of people. There's, I think there's more college kids than anything. And um, our Walmart is like the second biggest one in the state of Kentucky, but I don't know. It just, they never have what I want, but all of a sudden now they have all these different makeup brands that have come in, stuff that they didn't carry before. We walked down the hair shampoo, hair products aisle over the weekend, and I was like, amazed at the stuff that Walmart's now carrying in store it's like unbelievable they have got a lot of the higher end brands on the shelf and I mean it's less money than if you buy it at a hair salon or anywhere like that and I'm just really impressed but it, they did have this and I picked it up I love anything that smells like coconut um my only downfall with this is when I first put it in my hair, it's a little wet maybe, but after a couple minutes, I mean, it's, you don't feel it in my hair. I always spray dry shampoo in my hair before I start putting my makeup on. That way it has time to just settle into the scalp and grab any oils that might be there, which I have really dry hair. <coughs> I have no clue. <coughs> what the hell's going on with it today but yeah now now the makeup because like I said I haven't really wore a lot of makeup this month um but what I have worn is as far as foundation I have been wearing this Maybelline uh super stay 24 hour foundation I'm really liking this a lot this is a really good foundation it it goes on great I got it in 120 classic ivory and what I did was I went with my fit me shade because in the fit me foundation I wear 120 all the time and so I remember I picked it up my extra because I ran out so I picked this up the same day I got this I just went ahead and got the same shade it perfect perfect I love it so I have been wearing this quite a bit and 
does it last 24 hours i don't know because i don't wear foundation for 24 hours but it, it's still on my face at night when i take my makeup off i mean there's still foundation everywhere and i i've been using this a lot you can see that i'm almost out of it and this is the cover girl vitalist healthy elixir um i mean look at this i am about empty Like, I am scraping the bottom, and then I'm going to go buy another one, because I really enjoy this foundation. I just like how it lasts, how it how it looks on the face, and I'm not a big CoverGirl fan, and I, I love that foundation. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, concealer, I still use the Sharp, sharp the Sharp. The Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in uh, light, and if you can tell, it is about empty. It also is down to the bottom, like, when I use it, I have to literally run the wand around the edges of the bottle because it is about empty. But I don't know. There's just something about this concealer that I really like. And, you know, I'm more on the older side than most YouTubers. So, I need a really good concealer that doesn't crease, doesn't show my fine lines under my eyes and everything. And this just seems to do the job. And I like it. And I need another one in light. Um... I cannot stop using this powder. I'm obsessed with it. And, I mean, I just don't know what to say. It is the Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, mattify, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It smells amazing. I love the smell of it. But I'm just obsessed with this powder. There's just something about it. I don't bake with it. I just set my foundation with it. And I will take a big fluffy brush, put it into the top of this, and I just set my whole face. I don't even bake hardly anymore. I just set my face with this. It just seems to even out my foundation, blurs out everything that I need blurred out. This stuff is so good. So good. So good. I love it. Um, I got this bronzer at Sally's and it is the Co, Co, Co Lab. This is what it looks like. I've used it so much that the, uh, the words have come off of the, um, packaging. But this bronzer, I just really, really, really like this bronzer. It, I just think it is such a good shade. It's like the perfect shade. It's not too orange. It's not too brown. It's not too tan. It's more taupey that I kind of like. I like. It's not muddy. It goes on really well. It blends really well. And it looks so good when you put it on. And I think it was like $11.99 or something. But I have been using this like all the time. Like all the time. I love it. I use it all the time. This is my go-to blush. I seem to just pull it out of the drawer every time I open up my blush drawer. This is the one that I grab. I really, really like this blush. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pot. It is in Sweet Pea. It is like the perfect shade for me. It's just so pretty. It's not too pink, not too rosy, not too mauvey. It's just really 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 pretty period i mean it's just so pretty Let's see if i can give you a good swatch here but can you see that it's just a really pretty shade i really enjoy this blush so much that was an awkward swatch <laughs> but i was trying to get a good spot to put it in anyway Moving on. 
if y'all watched the video that I came up with, it was, I bought it, but do I use it? Because we all buy stuff, and then we put it away, and it seems like when we finally find it again, like six months later, we haven't used it. And I was talking about products that I had purchased, and 90% of them I had never used. This was one of them. So I set this out. I took it out of the packaging, and I set it out. And now every time I open up my highlighter drawer, this is the highlighter that I've been using because I, one, I love NARS. NARS is just such a great um, makeup brand. And this is the highlighting palette. And then you also have the uh, Laguna and I think Casino. You have the two bronzers. I love Laguna. Look at that. I love that. But I've been using like all these highlighters trying to get some use out of them i love them absolutely i love them i mean look at that they're so pretty but yes that was awesome that you know i did that video because now it's making me grab more to my newer products because I try to use all my makeup. I mean, I really, really do. I will use stuff that um, I bought three years ago. I don't care. But there are times that things just seem to get away from us and we forget about them. And then we're going to lips 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 i'm obsessed with this this of course is the mark jacobs uh sugar sugar lip gloss oh my gosh this is the best i love it but when i don't want to do anything i just put it on which is most days i mean seriously most days i don't want to do anything so i use that all the time and last but not least, my mascaras. This is what I do daily for the last, I don't know, month or two, is I take this Colossal Big Shot. This is the Black Tinted Primer, and I prime my lashes really, really, really good. And I, I mean, I just coat my lashes with this. And then I will go in with this Tartiste mascara and I will usually get like the bottom of my lashes with this. But this stuff is so, so, so good. And then once it dries, I mean, I like go like towards the end, not the top of my lashes, but down towards the bottom of my lashes. I'll coat them really, really good with that. And then I will go in with this It Cosmetics um, Superhero. And then I will take this. And I will coat from like the center of my lashes all the way up to the tips. I will just coat them. And can you, like, can you see my lashes right now? Because I have like no lashes. Okay? If you can see it in my glasses. But yeah, I, this is all I use. And it just does the trick. Now, I don't know what it is, though, about this. But every single time I use it and then I close the lid, the next time I pull it out of the drawer, I notice it's got big globs of mascara all around where the lid and the, the container come together. So, I don't know. Does anybody else do that? Because it kind of aggravates me. It gets kind of messy, but... That's it, guys. That is my January favorite. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know below what were some of your favorites for January. Were any of these products on your list? Do you have something that I don't know about and I need to try? Because I'm always looking for new products to try. 
But that's it, guys. If you're new to my channel, hit that red subscribe button below. And you're the first ones to know every time I post a new video. But that's all that I have for you guys. I love you. And I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah.